Hi everyone, it's Shar and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the first speed build I feel like I've done in a very long time. I think we've only ever done one other apartment and that was for the Black Widow Challenge. But on this day, I was watching murder mystery shows and for whatever reason that inspired me to build a house in San Myshuno or rather an apartment. And this is my dream apartment mostly because of the view. So in my dream apartment, I live somewhere where I have a Really fantastic view that actually the situation right now because I live somewhere where I live in a high rise. I've always lived in a high rise. I've always lived very, very high up in the sky and I've always had fantastic views. So for me, I associate that with being at home. So I decided to do this apartment in San Myshuno, which is 122 Hakam House, I think. So I changed the layout a little bit because I definitely knew that I wanted the kitchen to get the most light from the view. I want it to be able to kind of cook and turn around as I'm preparing on preparing food on the island because you know I would prepare food on the island I wanted to have that spectacular view of San Myshuno which you can see a little bit of my apartment actually looks over the cafe I placed across the street which I just realized and although it's going to be a relatively modern apartment because of how open floor plan it is and the color scheme I end up going with I wanted to go with furniture that was more indicative of my style so things that were more comfortable and I initially had no idea what I wanted to do with this space before I realized it'd be a really great spot for kind of like a family cozy living room nook somewhere where I could watch TV and because there's a wall that separates the kitchen the TV wouldn't get any glare from like sunlight and that window against the back wall that you're seeing doesn't get light directly. So that's what I wanted to do. I also tried this trick with the open door because realistically in my office, I probably wouldn't close the door. I would have that door open. And in my dream apartment, of course, I have my own office because of course with remote work, a lot of us work from home if you have a remote position. Um, and that means that there is no set office space for me currently. I work from my dining room or I work from the living room or I work for my bedroom if the dining room and the living room are occupied. So having a separate space where I could do work was definitely crucial and I wanted this to be a creative space. Of all the rooms in the house, I would say I struggled the most with the office because I liked the idea that it could also have this Murphy bed in case I had any guests or friends over. They could sleep in this room, um, kind of like a makeshift guest room because I wouldn't have an official set guest room um, or I did have one but you'll see that in a moment but I had to go with this and because I do record YouTube videos I put in that little station for me to do that and then of course my official desk for me to do my day-to-day -day work and then I moved on to the bedroom so the first bedroom near the front door would be my bedroom I wanted it to be very grand and over the top but also very neutral in its color steam um, in my dream apartment because the rest the apartment is so beautiful and so to my taste and exactly what I would want I wanted to see a neutral color scheme as opposed to this bedroom which I initially put in bunk beds and a double bed and you might be thinking that's super weird why would you do that of course that's super weird but that would be something that I would have for my family so ideally this would be with my sister and my nieces and nephews would stay and that's how some of the bedrooms are set up so if you have less space you put more beds into the room so where people can sleep there and I would designate that as their bedroom but we come back to my room which I would say is more over the top than I would actually have it in real life I'd probably go for a more bohemian kind of style but on this day that I was recording I wanted something to match the general aesthetic of the house which is supposed to be like penthouse vibes um, of course I give myself the most expensive bathtub because I take baths almost every single day it's part of my relaxing routine um, I lived in an apartment once that didn't have a bathtub I lived there for two years and by the end I was trying to figure out how to take a bath and a shower so bathtub is definitely a must for me although that's very um bougie I guess or uppity to be like if my apartment doesn't have a bathtub well then I'm not going to sleep there but of course it's just me right it's my dream apartment and therefore I would need somewhere to come and relax after a very long and sometimes stressful day and I for some reason carried the gold theme from my bedroom into the bathroom I guess in my dream life I'm a bougie bitch and I like everything to be very beautiful and in my mind apparently that means gold I did try to add some clutter here and there but clutter is not my thing. I was looking at a uh, Sati Sims like speed build and the like beautiful attention to detail, how much clutter there is and the story that is told is just 
amazing. And meanwhile, I struggle to place down like three flowers and some towels like that is a lot for me I don't like cluttering up apartments I like the way it looks because I think it's more realistic but I don't like cluttering it myself and for this space I didn't know what to do I was like oh that would be a great spot for a bar but I don't actually drink that often and I wouldn't want to have a bar in my dream apartment I think that would just be something that I might gravitate towards if I'm feeling really stressed out and I don't want that to be the case I don't like drinking it makes me feel kind of sick so I just didn't include a bar and I'm just trying to enclose the space a little bit because it is very floor open floor plan and it is very big this hallway is like huge wasted space so I want to do something with it and give it more of like a formal entry style and with the decorations I do change that wall don't worry I realize immediately ill that does not work so don't worry I go back and change it but what I was saying was that I forgot what I was saying anyway so I put in a platform for the kitchen because I again wanted some more separation of space and I felt like having the platform here just gave the room a little bit more dimension um real life if I had this kind of kitchen and it had a step up I'd probably fall over it or stub my toe all the time but in the sims it definitely works sims are not always super smart but they're not dumb enough <laughs> or they don't have like a clumsy enough trait to do things like stub their toe on the platform or trip over the platform um the decoration I would say is less cohesive than I would normally do in a build but still very much my style you all know that I love bright and colorful I like things to have texture and dimension um, and I like blue and yellow <laughs> if I'm ever going to build a house there's probably blue and yellow in there somewhere because those are the colors that make me the happiest so that's ultimately what I end up going for but with the decoration I wanted it to be like I moved into this apartment and I came in and I I decorated it and that's what this apartment does turn out to be because the furniture is not all from the same place right it's not all the same style furniture it's not all the same style thing it's all different components and obviously came from different stores and there isn't necessarily a cohesive theme although each room has its own individual theme like the informal uh dining living room has like this blue and white kind of cozy soft let's just lounge and look at the view and that's our entertainment vibes while the living room with the tv is more like uh, I'm super modern and super classy and I feel like it reflects how I probably would have decorated this and of course the other desk in the living room when there's a desk in the office and I think that doesn't really make sense it makes sense for me because I would want to have the open view and I imagine this desk is where I would do my morning journaling sessions or where I would just write or just sit down and read if I didn't want to sit on the couch or I wanted to feel more productive I might pick up my laptop and move into that space because I still want the freedom to be able to work from anywhere in my my home and I like the desk overlooking the view because for me that feels like very inspiring. I only put one curtain in this house and that is in my bedroom because I do ultimately switch out the guest bedroom that's supposed to be for my nieces and my nephew and my sister and my mom whoever comes over. It was originally going to be like this very loud child's room because I imagine that if I was in my dream house and I was having this bedroom it would be designated for them and therefore I would allow them to decorate as they wanted to but I do change this out just because it doesn't look good in the sims and aesthetics for this um i'm not actually going to build my family to live in the sims world i'm not playing my dream life mostly because dream life always follow the model right of you your partner and you and your partner have kids well i don't have a partner and in my dream life i don't dream of having a partner and i don't dream of having kids so if i was to play a dream life series it would be me just living my life and traveling the world and having a damn good time which would be fun but I would hesitate to call it a dream life legacy challenge because there would be no legacy unless I accidentally got pregnant <laughs> and in which case I don't consider that part of my dream life so I put down some other things just to I guess add more of my personality I have my yoga mat again if I was going to do yoga in the morning it doesn't make sense for it to be right in front of the kitchen but it makes sense for it to be right in front of the best of you in the house and that's how I would want to do my morning yoga and then we come back to this bedroom which I realized okay if we're going to do Char's bougiest life and I am living my dream bougie life I would have a walk-in closet because I do have a lot of clothes I do like clothes I like fashion I like dressing well I say this as I'm sitting in a pair of bath 
basketball shorts and an oversized t-shirt but doing that does not mean that I don't like dressing well and I don't like dressing up so I wanted to have this room that was just for my wardrobe because for me having like your own separate wardrobe closet space that's like essentially a bedroom just shows kind of a level of excess almost it's like how do you know you've made it well I have an entire room dedicated to just my clothes so that's what I end up doing and then I try to figure out some decoration because there's a lot of white space on the wall and the apartment is kind of dingy because I don't use a lot of lights I didn't want it to be like flooded with lights but what I end up doing is placing some of these bits and pieces down again it's not cohesive it doesn't all make sense but it all makes sense for me and how I would have decorated it and I think that adds some more like hominess and more humanness to what otherwise what could have been a very almost cold house do you know what I mean like you get the super modern houses and everything is super pristine and super white or super uh monochrome and there's not any sense that anyone lives there that's not what I wanted I wanted it to feel like I did live there so I added some clutter to the kitchen and I had the decor just kind of fit what I would have thought was beautiful what I would have wanted to see with that said to see what I would have wanted to see. So with that said, I go onto the gallery, I pull some custom art pieces off because that's not actually CC. People go in and then they paint the CC. And because it's a painting, it's something that's in the game. So I place this down just again to add more of my own touch. But we're coming to the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed this speed build of my dream apartment. And you already know what to do. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And if you're not new here, well, thanks for coming back. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Okay, bye, everyone.